In this video, we're going to focus on how we can change the tooltip border colors based on the border colors of the bars. So let's start to look how to add a border color on to the tooltip in Chart.js 4. First of all, I have the boiler template. To get the boiler template, please go to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box and copy this boiler template here right away. Next, if you want to support the channel, check out this page one page of mine. So now I'm going to go in here and then in here, I'm going to scroll down here close to the options and I'm going to say after the scales we're going to say comma we're going to say plugins and for the plugins we're going to pinpoint the tool tip so within here basically there's two ways to do it you can do it in a very basic way and we can get it more advanced way so the first thing what I want to do here with the tool tips there's a namespace it's called border color and the border color here could be for example red if I save this refresh you can see here nothing happens yet and the reason why is we didn't indicate the thickness of the border so we need to have here another one I'm going to say here border width and I'm going to say how many pixels let's say one pixel save this refresh and you can see here now we get a solid red item let's make this three that's very easy to see however what if you would like to get the color of the bar the border here to be represented in here like purple or green and etc etc to do this we're going to do a bit more advanced so in here i'm going to say a border color and i'm going to create a callback functionality and I'm going to give this ctx as value but you can give it anything you want that does not matter so first of all let's understand what is the ctx by saying here console log ctx save refresh open up developer tab and if you hover over it you can already see something happening but of course the default is just black and the reason why it's black it's because we didn't return a value so we need to return a value but i want to return the value whatever it is in the data so if i click on one of these and i have to make sure we have the right one because you can see here there's a lot let's refresh go on one and then there you are so you can see here zero means that we are hovering away from it and here we're on top of it i want this because will indicate some crucial information for me so in the tooltip here you can see here this is all the tooltip information and that's what we need and basically in here i need to go into the data point and what the data point gives me if i open this up you can see here and let's see if i can move this a bit you can see here all additional information that i need in the data points the data set index number six which is correct because Sunday is number six because it started at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, data set index, which is number zero, because we only have one data set and this is the data point. If I said it wrong, this is the data point. So there we are. This information will be necessary for us. So let's start to work with this first. So how do we get this? So I'm going to say constant data point equals CTX. And then we can start to look here. If I hover over these points here, you will find the information. Uh, let's see, it should show a tooltip here. There you are. Or at least some information. You see the tooltip dot data points index zero and then dot data set index. This later on will be very important. So tooltip dot data points index zero dot data set uh, index or data point or data index let's double check the data index that's the one and then the data set should be another one here so i'm going to say a constant data set equals i'm just going to grab all of this exactly same except here that's the name of the data set index there we are put it in there uh, make sure you have only this don't remove this so now we have these two here so now what I want to do is I want to figure out how do I get basically from this object jumping all up into the border color here, which is basically the data constant here or that data object. Well, for that, all we have to do is let me show you. Let's refresh one more time. I'll just hover again over this. You can see here the array one. That's the one I need. Here we have the tooltip. If I open up the tooltip here, you can see here chart. This is the chart object and this allows us to jump 
now to any other position. So from chart, I'm going to scroll down here and get this one here, the data with the triple dots. Open up this, this data object. You can see here we get the labels, we get the data sets, index zero, and then we get here the border color with the index numbers. So this is exactly what I want. So how do we get here? Let's hover over here. You can see tooltip.chart.data.datasetsindex0.border color. So I'm going to say here, uh, let's do a console log. Let me start with CTX because that's our starting point. And I'm going to say here tooltip.chart.data.datasetsindex0. Right, data sets index zero and then border color whatever the color is dot color and let's say here now color number zero we should get then this number as a console log being shown let's refresh and as you can see here we get this number two five five twenty six hundred and four which should match here there we are all right so now we have this but of course what i want to do is i want to have the data set this here is already the data set we replace this item here next the data point will be replaced in here and now if i save and even do a return because now i can show this value remove the parentheses here save this refresh and now we get here the black we get the orange purple green yellow blue and red and that's it